Big news tonight from the CDC. People who test positive for COVID-19 no longer need to stay in isolation for five days. That's right. Brenna McIntosh joins us in the studio to explain why the CDC is doing away with that guidance. Brenna. Well, the five day isolation guidelines have been in place for years, but now the CDC says people who test positive for COVID-19 can head back to work or school just 24 hours after having a fever. It's a big change for those who test positive for COVID-19. On Friday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention dropped its five-day isolation guidelines. Now, the health agency recommends people who test positive stay home until symptoms are mild and improving, and they've gone 24 hours without a fever. However, the change does not apply to nursing homes and health care facilities. Whether it's an exact five days or not, it's just important to stay home if you're sick. Karen McGoldrick is a clinical infection preventionist at Centera Lee Hospital. She says the change comes now that most people have some degree of immunity to the virus. For the most part, most people aren't as severely ill as they were, say, two years ago. McGoldrick says it's likely many weren't following the isolation guidance anyway. Just like anything else, just because somebody gives guidelines doesn't mean everybody followed it. So I don't know that everyone truly was isolating at home for five days. We hope they were. The CDC's COVID-19 recommendations are now similar to that of the flu and other respiratory illnesses. The health agency calls it a unified approach. Still, health experts urge caution. It is seem to be still a little bit more serious illness than the flu in a lot of cases, and there's a lot more complications after COVID necessarily than with the flu. And the CDC still recommends people get vaccinated and wash their hands to prevent getting infected in the first place. Brenna McIntosh, 13 News Now.